You have Ultra Instinct, uh, or not, goddamn. Ladies and gentlemen, we are gonna be reacting to Goku vs. Saitama Part 3 fan animation, Dragon Ball Z vs. One Punch Man. Let's take a look. Hi, everyone. As you probably know, I have uh? always worked alone since I started animation. Today, I would like to develop more and get help to continue to offer you quality work. Okay. I have set a goal of 2,000 patrons to guarantee... Uh, 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 uh. 2,000? Okay, you heard the man. If you actually have the money, help him. He's actually creating quite good content. This is the previous thing that actually happened before. Which is... Ultra Instinct. Woo! Now, one thing that I want to know. Did he implement the new chapters? Not only for Dragon Ball Z, also for One Punch Man. The current chapters that was going on on the Dragon Ball universe and also on the One Punch Man universe. Did he implement that? I can't even hear myself think, to be honest with you. Sorry for pausing, but Saitama has never gotten a scratch in his life. Not even when he was fighting with someone equal to his strength. Keep that in mind, like Saitama bleeding is something that we have never seen, not even when he was fighting against, spoilers, Garo. When he was fighting Garo, he still didn't bleed even though Garo was literally equal to him at some point of the story. And guess what, Saitama still didn't bleed, not even once. Garo was, Saitama wasn't, don't know why, even though they were equal, almost equal in strength, but Saitama then just pulled up a bull crap on his out of his ass and then he became like literally invincible so <laughs> we can expect anything but to be fair saitama is a gag character so it's like trying to put goku versus what popeye huh By the way, oh, that is sexy. Oh, yeah, that was actually pretty good. Hmm. Come on. Yeah, Goku. Use your Genki Damas. They're not good. Saitama, I never saw a hurry juice scream in my life. This is getting good. Was that Goku Genki Dama? E blast Should I call it even Genki Dama? I think this is just a key blast. Oh, well, that's true. Saitama's clothes are literally not invincible. Just like Goku's. They can get ripped off. I will take it to the next level, Goku. I don't think you need it. <laughs> He also, he can't damage you. Uh, the publicity is just is ridiculous. Ooh, what is this? She can't touch. <laughs> Don't touch him. Just punch in another direction and <laughs> try to punch the entire universe up. <laughs> Maybe you will hit him. What the heck was that? That is so sexy, it's actually unbelievable. What? Oh! Hey, no way! Yo, this animation is looking better than actual Dragon Ball Z animation. To be fair, they could top up that pretty easily. Hmm?
Huh? What's this? Before I let you, before I let you pull something up out of your noggin, you're not making this stuff up, right? What is this? I will let you tell me, but. Okay, show me. Wait, so what does that mean? Okay, what the heck was that? I finally made it. Okay, see, this is where we you're pulling stuff that is not actually from the story. Fire? Fire. That was honest to God, fire. Or an explosion. And you're telling me Saitama has that. I'm gonna still keep on playing it, but <laughs> please explain to me. Okay. <laughs> okay. He did watch the manga. <laughs> Clearly, he did watch the manga. Okay, I'll give you that. But the fire, though. Jesus. Is that uh, a depiction of what goes in terms of limitless? That's your depiction? If it's a depiction, hey, it's your depiction. So even the story on One Piece, they depict hockey so differently nowadays. <laughs> Why did hmm? What is this? What? Yeah, Satama is flying, by the way. But yeah, <laughs> Satama, I know you're not farting constantly. What is this? And what is this? You're probably asking yourself, how is Satama breathing in space? To be fair, if he can freaking do explosion fists, I'm pretty sure he can be in space. But yeah, even on Garo's fight, he also could be in space. One thing that we learned from Tatsumi is he can do whatever he wants. If he wants to breathe in space, he will breathe in space. If he wants to punch fire, hell, he will do it, as you can see. Hmm. Okay, I'm pretty sure he can't really do this. There's a limit of gas that he has on his tank, okay? Unless he's... No, no, that, that, that doesn't make any... Like, this is beautiful, though. Bro! This could literally be anime episode like the way that this man is animating it this reminds me of mob psycho's style of animation whoa what the heck was that but this is so good because it's actually animated every single fist colliding impact is all being animated that is the beauty of this this is like Oh, this is like the um, one punch. No, no. Serious moves, killer, killer. No, killer moves. Serious, serious, serious punch. Times two or a square two that destroyed the. Yeah, there we go. They literally destroyed like the like a boaty's void or something. But you can go. So wait a minute. If he is implementing Saitama's growth from the manga and he's already equal to 
Goku right now, Saitama would already be stronger than Goku by now. Why do I say this? If they're both equal, it's the same thing that what happened to Garo. Garo was equal to Saitama into a certain extent. <laughs> and then the level of difference was so ridiculous. It was literally Saitama was here and Garo was here. While to the course of the battle, the fight started like this. After 10 minutes, Saitama was already here. Bro, Garo was in the bottom. What I'm saying is, if they're equal, Goku only goes up in terms of strength with his Zenkai boost. And guess when Zenkai boost happens? When he's half dead. If Saitama was already weaker than Goku, unless Goku literally one-shots Saitama, then yes, Sa Goku beats Saitama. But he needs to beat Saitama like fast as possible because that guy literally has Zenkai boost activated 24-7. <laughs> Now let's watch. Which shouldn't be happening. Sorry. I think the cubes would have already been destroyed, Blast. But hey, Blast, how are you? Long time no see. So the two universes are basically talking about it. So they're gonna stop this fight. They're not gonna be have any money. The same thing that happened to Garo. Let's go. Hmm. But damn, yo. Where is he getting all this momentum? Huh? Omni Direction Serious Sponge. Yo, I like that. Goku still has another transform. Ooh! Goku? You can do it. I know you can do it. Ultra perfect ultra instinct. You have ultra instinct, uh, or not, goddamn. Did Goku say he died? By the way, I didn't watch the episodes where Goku go into Ultra Instinct. Actually, I didn't watch any episodes. So I don't know what the heck is going on right now. And by the way, how long can you be on Ultra Instinct? Obviously it's not hmm. You realize? Come on, Goku. Purple. Well, now he has white hair and moving pupils. He's, he got even faster. Nice. The heck are, are those bullets or fists? Why are they so short? I mean, small. Hey, I'm not the animator here, okay? I'm just appreciating the good. Wait. Goku, uh, let me go back because I feel like planet Earth was there. Okay, let me go back a little bit more. Okay, sweet. I could have sworn Earth was behind Saitama. Okay, that fire is... <laughs> Saitama doesn't have anything special besides punches. Yeah, Earth is be is behind Saitama. Goku, what, you, what are you doing? Goku, what are you doing? I could have seen Saitama actually destroying the planet instead of you destroying the planet. Oh, 
don't think he is. <laughs> <laughs> uh, in his own way. No, he doesn't even know where his strength comes from. Probably God. It was a mysterious power. <laughs> and maybe. And he doesn't know where. Yo, I'm liking this. I'm liking this. I'm liking this. I'd rather not have any winner than picking one of these two as a winner. You may ask me, who would I think that would actually win between a serious fight between these two end game characters? End game Goku and end game Saitama. Let me be honest here. Goku has been end game since freaking years, but they keep on pulling new stuff out of his ass. So. Ooh, that's go Goku. Uh by the way, Earth, my dude, Earth. Goku. I know you saw Earth. I know you saw Earth. Wait. That didn't hit Earth? How? By the way, Goku looks clean as all hell. So he blocked? But wait, so he blocked it? Let me be honest here, I'm more concerned about Earth than anything, anything that is God. Gaha! Dragon Fist? Wait, he could do that on Ultra Instinct? Okay, at this point, what can he do, right? Oh, God bless. Earth, my knee, my friend. Bro, Earth, you're... Okay, Earth, how the hell are you still alive? Did he stop? That crater should be literally half of the planet. I don't think it's him. I think it's something else. I don't think it's him. That was Krillin. There we go. A sensor beam? Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> uh, damn, that sensor beam is literally coming out of Jesus. Well, a sensor beam work on him? Well, it would work on everybody, right? <laughs> that noise. Ah, oh, Jesus. Yeah, these are like different voice actors. Okay, I, I get what, what he's doing, okay. But I at least I prefer I prefer this than not having any type of voice actor. This is actually pretty perfect. This is... I would say this is hands down the best depiction of an anime animation Goku versus Saitama. This guy is the number one in the list and in the verse of creating animation for Saitama and Goku. Hands down, best animator. Oh yeah, I actually forgot that you wish that. Why would you say the most powerful human? 
おめえらも随分つえけど。Wait, wait, 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 wait. You said, oh, wait, 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 wait. Goku said to make Saitama being able to fly? I need something that s a y i n I would like to face the most powerful human being on the planet. Or is he saying fly him here? Or the power to fly? Like, wh what is going on? Well, Wait, is that? Wait. Just show me a little bit besides his eyes. Please, show me. Oh, follow this man here because he clear. What, what am I doing?、Uh, let me follow him. I don't follow nobody, but to him. I would actually follow and also leave a like because this is actually pretty amazing. You are the number one, or probably the best animator when it comes to One Punch Man animation. This is actually good.